What you're looking at here is an HPI Savage 25 electric conversion. Just wanted to do a quick video on it because, uh, you know, just for anyone who might be interested, you know, this is an old RC car that was just kind of sitting around, you know, collecting dust. And uh, gas is just not, you know, the greatest sometimes because it gets loud and, and messy. And so uh, I decided to uh, convert it to a uh, brushless motor. And uh, I love it. So um, anyhow, I just wanted to, again, do this video to show you guys some of the challenges that I faced um, that you guys might encounter if you did decide to, of course, convert one to electric. Um, so the first thing, um, of course, you buy your motor um, and your setup. This is a uh, Surpass setup. It's The motor um, is a 47, uh, actually a 4076 motor uh 2000 kv uh it's water resistant um so that's good and then a 150 amp esc that came with it uh this this esc and uh brushless motor setup was a was a bundle it was a I think it was um 100 bucks all right on amazon just search it up good motor good reviews um so definitely recommend it um and it has uh it takes two uh, or yeah, two two S lipo dual connections right here, uh, one in each end, um, and so again the most challenging part of this conversion is finding a motor mount, um, and you know I looked online, they just uh, didn't have the right size or the right setup, and uh, it wasn't strong enough, so I ended up just making one. Uh, I had some, you know, metal plates uh, laying around the house and cut it in the size. Um, and that was even more of a challenge because the setup um, and the motor uh, was too big. And I had to do a lot of adjustments um, to make sure that it fits. Um, so again, uh, right here, um, if you can see a yeah, motor mount right there. Um, and I was trying to use the the old motor mount, which was on the nitro, as a template, but uh, wasn't really working well. Uh, so here it is. Hope you guys can see that. Um, I did have to cut the frame out right there. You can see it um, just to make this motor fit. As you can tell right here, it was just sticking out a bit, and so to fit it, I had to cut. A little bit out uh, which was this piece right here um, but it, you know it, it chassis frame still good um, I ran it or a, a couple of times already so again the motor is really tight um, and as look over here I made a little scratch on the motor no big deal but uh, that's just when I was trying to make it fit um, and uh, yeah it worked out really well and then another challenge also uh, is you know finding the right pinion right um, this is a 20 tooth pinion uh, that I found at the local hobby store uh, it's steel it's good it's perfect for this uh, spur gear um, and speaking of spur gear it's a Robinson um, spur gear um, I f forgot uh, how many tooth this is but uh, it's by Robinson but it's a good setup um, and it works well uh, with that pinion and another thing uh, to look for also um, or challenge is is the differential not the differentials uh, the transmission box again the savage 25 is a two speed uh, so you want to go ahead and you know take out the, the second speed uh, so it can just you know run freely without having to change gears because it'll strip it away um, if you don't um, and there's a lot of YouTube videos about it on how to lock it up um, and so forth. Uh, I did also take out the uh, the disc brakes uh, that was originally down here. Um, as you can tell, no more disc brakes. And so um, this motor do reverse. So... Um, you don't need that brake, and plus the Savage, you know, comes with a servo that connects to the motor um, for braking anyway. 
and then what I used for you know the the battery holder was uh, just some phone old phone case that I had laying around. Um, pretty much just cut it up and just you know zip tied it um, to the frame. And then I added some lights. Turn that on for you. Cool little lights on both sides. Runs great. Um, I mean, it's like super fast. Woolies on demand all day long. This thing is beast. I love it. show you on this side same thing but again um, the biggest challenge I will say is that motor putting that motor in the space um, again it's just wasn't enough had to do a lot of custom uh, cutting and fitting but it all worked out um, so again, this is a 1-8 scale. You can do it on any 1-8 scale. You can convert it uh, to electric, you know, and um, because, you know, nitro, sometimes it gets, uh, you know, really loud and dirty. Uh, and so electric, you know, is nice and quiet, um, you know, easy, uh, you know, and it's not too loud. Um, although this one is just a little bit loud because of the spur gear and the, and the metal part. Uh, but nothing crazy where, you know, you're going to annoy the neighbors or anything like that. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share this setup uh, just in case anyone, again, you know, might be interested uh, on it. Uh, and everything else is stock, you know, the servo um, is stock it's underneath here. And uh, just your standard, you know, HPI. Uh, receiver but yeah having fun with this um, I'll do a video here shortly uh, maybe tomorrow or something uh, I can show you guys uh, how fast it go and you know uh, and how the, the, the outcome of this uh, conversion but I love it I love the setup I love the way it looks I love the motor surpass uh, setup it's great Guys, I'm going to do a test run and how fast this is. Um, give me a second here. I'm going to show you how to turn it on. Uh, so first thing, of course, you know, you can receiver. And then um, on switch is right here. The string server is not that strong because of the weight of the uh, battery. But... You know, once you're going and turning, it just goes with it when it sits down. All right, let's take it for a test ride. See you guys on the road here in a second. setup well he's on the man guys <laughs> 